everybody, it's Delilah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a big ol' thrift haul slash thrift with me kind of. There. The mic was totally not on so hopefully, hopefully now we're good. So if you don't watch my vlogs, if you're new to my channel, this past weekend my sister and my mom and I and Theo, we took a little road trip. We went down to the States. We took a four days off, two days of driving, two days of shopping and basically the goal was to just hit every single thrift store that we passed. We went to like, I want to say about 10-ish thrift stores. The experience was very interesting. It's not what I was expecting. From Saskatchewan down into the States, the first city you come to is Minot, North Dakota. And so that's where we did all of our shopping. It's a very common shopping destination for people in Saskatchewan because it is the closest spot. Because it's kind of like small city, there just really wasn't much. But it was a very interesting experience because their thrift stores, a lot of them are kind of like in these really old buildings. Some of them are in houses some of them are in basements and it's just like the store just goes on and on and on in all these different rooms and there's like all these little nooks and crannies where there's things hidden and we did stumble across one very very cool place just packed full of stuff and lots of really cool vintage stuff it was just really interesting to see their thrift stores compared to ours where we live but i was going with a very specific idea in mind of what i wanted to buy i'm trying to be very mindful of what i purchase and not just buying anything i see that i like i had a list of things that i was looking for i only got very few items from that list but overall i think i did pretty good i didn't spend too much money but i spent a decent amount of money we got some good things and so i am here to share that all with you today so Let's get started. We'll start with what I'm wearing right now. So I got the sweater. This is actually from the last thrift store that we went to and it was actually back in Canada. We were coming back up from the States, headed home and we stopped at a thrift store and I got so much good stuff from that thrift store. So I got this sweater. It's very, very comfy, very soft. It was very pricey for a thrift store. It was $15 and that's 15 Canadian. So normally I wouldn't spend this much money on a sweater but because I loved it so much, I decided to just go for it. It is so comfortable. I'm also wearing another item from the thrift store. I bought socks from the thrift store and I am proud. <laughs> it's a very ethical, sustainable way to shop and so if I can find like brand new socks from the thrift store that are this cute, I'm gonna buy them. Brand new, I paid two dollars for them. They even have grippies on the bottom. I don't know what it is but I just think they are so cute and they're very comfy. Put those back on. <laughs> I've been asked quite often how I wash and sanitize the items I buy from the thrift store so that they're bug free and safe for my kids to handle. For that I like to use clean and allergen free cleaners and detergents such as MYK+. They have a lot of research backing up their products and are very transparent about the ingredients they use. MYK Plus is a Nordic company that sells non-toxic allergen friendly cleaning products. Their gentle laundry detergent contains seven different kinds of enzymes which are environmentally friendly, degradable and sustainable ingredients. It received the Nordic Swan Eco Label and Asthma Allergy Denmark's Blue Label. It's allergy friendly and fragrance free. I use it the same as any other laundry detergent, but if I find a stubborn stain, I'll actually apply a little detergent to the area, wait a few minutes, rinse, and wash as normal. If you're washing by hand, just soak the items in the correct ratio of water to detergent for 20 to 30 minutes and rinse. This stuff is magic! You guys saw that stain. It was like a red raspberry stain here and here. It's gone. 
gone. The fabric care contains a high concentration of cellulose to reduce clothing pilling and fabric surface damage. Perfect for those thrifted sweaters. It does have a subtle smell of raw materials, but it's totally safe to use, environmentally friendly, and there isn't any fragrance added. If you're using this in a washing machine, just add it to the little section that says softener. But if you're washing by hand after the laundry is clean, add the fabric care, soak it, and then rinse it. And lastly, they sent over a vegetable and bottle wash. This received the blue label as well, is non-toxic, environmentally friendly, and fragrance free. I figure if this is used to remove dirt and bacteria from fruits and veggies, and is used to clean baby bottles, then it would be the perfect cleaner to use on these thrifted toys. Just soak the toys or whatever you're washing in water with one to two drops of the product that rinse thoroughly. And my K Plus is actually so new to the North American market that it isn't available for sale yet, but it will be soon and they ship internationally, which being Canadian, I love. Thank you to MYK Plus for sponsoring today's video. Continuing on with clothing items. Also from that thrift store, I bought this sweater. It is a very nice like foresty green color. I love the like chunky knit style of it and it's a little bit cropped, uh, which I really like. I'm kind of over the whole oversized sweater Thing. I was a huge fan of it a few years ago, but I'm just kind of done with it. I like the crop look. Pairing these with high-waisted jeans, I think it's very cute, very flattering, and so I only paid $5 for this one, which is pretty good, especially considering I got this from the same thrift store I bought this $15 sweater from. Their prices didn't really make sense. We went to a lot of different thrift stores in the US, but one of them that I had the most luck at was actually a consignment shop, which is where you bring your donations and they'll pay you for your donations, but they're very picky about what they accept, which I love. That's like Once Upon a Child, Play-Doh's Closet, like those kinds of places I go to often because I know there's a good chance I'm gonna find something really good and I don't have to search high and low for it. So I love consignment shops for that reason and I found this cardigan. This is old. It's got shoulder pads in it, which I need to cut out, but I thought it was just so nice. It's kind of like the crop style again. It's got some buttons on the very bottom. I don't know. I just thought this was really nice. I'll be honest. I'm not hating the shoulder pads. Do I cut them out? Like, I, I'm not hating them. I don't know. I kind of like it. And I don't remember how much I paid. I think it was like $5, five American dollars. I thought that would kind of go well with a lot of the pieces I have in my closet. From that same shop, I bought another cardigan. <laughs> this one I feel like I can wear more so as a jacket because it's a bit bigger. It's this really nice, like creamy beige color. It's very soft and it's longer, so it covers more. It's very cozy, very cute. I quite enjoy that one. And again, that'll pair with like anything in my closet. Also from that shop, I bought this sweater, which is very similar to another one that I have that's like a chocolatey brown color. But this one is black and I don't know what brand it is. It doesn't have a tag, but it's very soft. Again, it's kind of like the cropped deal and it's got a mock neck on it, which I really enjoy. I quite like the mock necks over the turtlenecks just because there's less fabric. I'm not a big fan of all the chunky fabric everywhere. So again, just another really nice basic piece. I was looking for a lot of basics, like no patterns and focusing more on textures so I'm working on my capsule wardrobe right now and once it's finally done which I feel like it'll be a little while but once it's finally done I'm excited to share it with you this is actually one of the first items I purchased on this trip we weren't even out of Saskatchewan yet and we stopped at a small town and I found this I was really excited it's a cropped basic black tee. I have a basic black tee, but it's like falling apart. It's so well used. And so it's time for another one. I think I paid $2 for this. It's really soft and silky and just perfect. The last item of clothing I got for myself was this jacket. I was on the lookout for a bomber jacket. This is actually still wet because I washed it yesterday. And it's one of those that has to air dry. But um, I found this at the coolest shop. I paid five bucks. It fits perfectly. It's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. So I was really excited to find this. This will be like the perfect fall jacket. Those are all the clothing items I got for myself and then we were at a value village in Saskatchewan. At value villages they have this deal where you can stuff a bag with baby clothes for a certain amount of money. So like a small bag was three dollars. I don't know what the other ones are but I stuffed a small bag for three dollars and I got all these items. So firstly the item that drew me in and this is not gonna fit Theo right now. It's way too small which makes me so sad but 
How freaking adorable is this? It is so cute. Obviously this is way too small for Theo, but I am going to be saving this for future children. I'm pretty sure it's big enough to fit a newborn's head. And if it's not, then I'll just give this to Eloise and she can play with it with her dolls. Next thing I got were some leggings for Eloise. She was in need of leggings and I like these because they have like a ribbed texture. They fit her perfectly right now, which is great. I also got this little t-shirt. It is size 2T, so it would fit Eloise right now. I'm kind of thinking I might just save it for Theo because I think he look real handsome in this shirt. But I do love that it's very gender neutral. It's got the little pocket on the side. Basics like that are what I'm all about, you know. And lastly in that bag, I bought these! How cute! They're little jean overalls. They're size three to six months, so they will fit Theo right now. They're so cute. I love the lighter color of them. I can't wait to dress him in these. I believe that's everything for clothes, and now moving on to other miscellaneous items. I got some things for the kids. So first of all, I don't really know what this game is, to be honest, but it's called La La Loopsie. Basically, I bought it for Eloise because it looks like something she would be interested in, and she has actually been loving it. I don't really know what it's all about. You can play with a pet, you can create tiaras, all kinds of little things like that that little girls love. That was her little treat from this trip. Next up I bought a few books. I got a couple vintage books which were very cute. I think I paid like a couple cents for these. I thought this one was really cute because it's just got like lots of pictures of food in it which is something that kids just love. I got a couple other books. Some of them are in Eloise's room at the moment and she's napping so I can't show you but the one that she's been loving the most and myself as well is this one one hand to hand by max licato and he's a fairly famous like christian author i got this one and she loves it okay i also found some christmas presents i'm thinking mostly for theo although i don't know i can't decide whether i want to give it to theo or to eloise but i found this little toolbox by melissa and doug it's got like a little wooden screwdriver and it's got a hammer in there and screws, all kinds of stuff. There's nails. It's so cute. It's very like well used. We're gonna give it a good clean, a good sanding. And I paid two dollars for this, which I thought was pretty good. And then in a second thrift store, I found this, also by Melissa and Doug. It's just a set with like a whole bunch more pieces, like screws. There's even like these little pieces and ones like this. And on the bottom, I can't really show you because everything will fall out, but you can kind of see it's got a bunch of different things that you can build with these pieces, which I thought was really cool and a good addition to this. So I figured something like this Eloise would love at this age. But at the same time, we have so many things for Eloise already that I kind of want to give this to Theo. I haven't decided yet. And then as for like houseware stuff, I got this little, what's this called? They're, they're hooks. Is there a name for something like this? I can't think of it right now. In our entrance, we're gonna create a little area for the kids to hang up their own jackets and to put their own shoes, kind of like a Montessori style area for them in our entry. And so this was perfect. I paid 50 cents for this. And then these next two items I'm really excited about. So I got this vase. Um, I think I paid $3 for this. And like on the bottom, you can tell it was homemade. It is so beautiful. I put some faux eucalyptus leaves in here. I haven't totally decided where this is going to be displayed in our house, but it is so beautiful. I could not leave it there. I got this at the Value Village in Saskatchewan, um, and I was really disappointed because I found so many other beautiful items like this, like homemade, beautiful pottery. Items that I was actually looking for, but for really expensive. Like everything else was like $8, which is expensive for a thrift store. Like I can just go to Walmart and buy something for that price. So I was a little disappointed. In hindsight, said it was probably a good thing because it means I ended up spending less money and bringing less home. And the very last thing that I bought is a set of three plates and this is what they look like. They're absolutely beautiful. They've got this little speckling detail. There are two other ones just like this and we needed more dishes because whenever we host we never have enough dishes. So I'm still on the lookout for more dishes but I found these and I thought they were gorgeous. I think I paid three dollars for the set so a dollar a plate. That's everything that I ended up buying. There were a lot of things that I saw that I loved but I didn't end up getting. I got a very good like reasonable haul. Everything that I bought I'll use and that was kind of the mindset I was going in with. I don't always film when I thrift but whenever I do thrift I share my haul on Instagram. If you want to follow me over there I'll leave the link down below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.